Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. Today I'm taking a look at something absolutely incredible that was made in Minecraft by Tate. If you don't know what Tate is, it is a network of art galleries in, in London in, in the UK. And what they've decided to do is create something absolutely amazing in Minecraft. So this is, this is a painting. This is a painting that is currently located in Tate. And the painting is called, and actually this is what it is, this is the original painting, it's called The Pool of London, it's by Andre de Rain. And this painting is from 1906, and so what they've decided to do is, well, let me just show it to you, I'm not going to spoil it to you, let me just show it to you. I'm going to step right here, and let's see what happens. The Pool of London, a painting by Andre de Rain. Your game mode has been updated. A Tate world map. So what Tate has decided to do is introduce a bunch of paintings and turn them into 3D worlds in Minecraft. And it's a brilliant idea. This is an idea that has never been done before and actually is mind-blowing because essentially you can explore all these famous paintings in 3D in, uh, in Minecraft. And it's absolutely free and it's available for anyone to download. Anyone who has Minecraft can download it and all these maps are available for free. So I'm going to actually explore this painting and find out more about it. Uh, no request. Oh, so the idea here is that you explore London as uh, as the original painter did. Oh no, I can't jump. Uh, as the original painting, painter did in 1906, and you kind of get to understand what he went through and why he painted certain things the way he did. And this is an, an absolutely incredible resource. This is a resource for an art history class or any class that deals with art in general. Uh, now, right now, they currently have only two paintings, and I'm, and I'm going to take a look at both of them. But uh, they are ex uh, introducing four more in early 2015, and then uh, probably a lot more as the time progresses. Okay, so key chest, I don't know what that is. Dead End Road. Is it actually Dead End? Yes, it is. I cannot move further. So, as I explore this, I'm going to try to discover more about Andre the Rain and why he liked flowers and why he uh, painted the painting the way he did. There's actually a whole history behind this painting and it's a lot of it is written on the website and so if you are a teacher, if you're actually teaching students something about art and specifically uh, British art, game tech, find the stick, break the flower, <gasps> break the flower pots, okay, find the stick, okay, I need to break the flower, 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 flower pots, flower pots, <gasps> there's a person, is there an bad person or a good person. I don't know. Let's go break a flower pot first. Find out what happens. Break. Break, 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 break. Doesn't break. Okay. If you're a teacher and you actually want to use Minecraft in your class and you're teaching history or art history, sorry, art history or art, this is an incredible tool for you and it's absolutely free. The link for this uh, file is in the description below. If you want to install this, peddler. You probably met a peddler. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. If you want to uh, install this, all you have to do is... Bonjour, my name is Andre de Rain. I got distracted. I am Fauviste artiste sent from Paris to paint the Pool of London, part of the city along the River Thames. I use, use bright colors in a new and exciting way to paint my pictures. Unfortunately, my bags have been mislaid during my trip, and my box of colored paints is missing. Kill disaster, oh la la. I cannot complete my picture without my paints. I will need 10 special pigments to make new ones. Pigments are what you make color and paint from. You must help me. Come with me around the pool of London to find the colors I need. First, we might find the pigment chrome yellow. Come along to the suite. I'm busy fellow. The peddler will sell you chrome yellow for the piece of six pots. Of the price of six pots. But first, you must find them. Broken or not. All right, this is awesome. There's actually a whole uh, storyline here. This is uh, obviously made for students to explore. Uh, I don't want to say obviously, but I'm assuming it's made for students to explore. And I'm really enjoying this so far. This is such a brilliant idea. I think all museums should actually do this. Accident, bridge closed, open soon. All museums should like do this. I would love to play like a Picasso painting in this. This would be just brilliant. But it's a, it's, a name, it's a really good idea. So yes, if you're a teacher, all you have to do is download the file and open your Minecraft folder. Actually, you know what? I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to make a separate video where I explain how to install these files. Because these essentially go into your save folder. Um, the files that you download go into your save folder and then you open them as a new save file. 
Now, meanwhile, I have to find pots. Where do I find pots? I have to break pots, I think. He wants me to break pots and then sell it to Peddler. What a horrible person he is. It doesn't break. You lied to me, Frenchman. You lied to me. This is a pot, isn't it? Why doesn't it break? What am I doing wrong with my life? What am I doing wrong here? Help me. Uh, I'm going to try to play through this. Actually, this is going to be an entire playthrough. Because this is just brilliant. I mean, I my mind is completely blown by how brilliant this is. And uh, if you, uh, I don't know if you noticed when I was on the bridge, but it looks exactly like the painting. They made the ship. They made the, uh, the river Thames. Or Thames, whatever its pronunciation is. I'm not from Britain. I don't know. I'm from Canada. Uh, and... And, and I'm lost. I'm already lost. I don't know what to do. Can you sell me stuff, peddler? Please, thank you. Sir, I'm lost. Help. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I hit a famous painter. With my fist. I was afraid he's gonna attack me. But he didn't. Okay, so he told me I have to break pots, right? Did he tell me to break pots? Look at that. This is, this is like the painting I just showed you. Kind of. A lot more blocky. Uh, okay, let me just pause this for a second. I mean, I'm not gonna pause this, but I'm gonna try to figure this out. Oh, I found it! Yeah, I got some one flower pot right here. I got some milk in there for some reason. Big stick, handy to break flower pot. Oh, oh, oh! I get it. I need a stick, and now I need to collect something else. Okay, I cannot do this. Ah, there we go. Ha 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 ha! Give me this. Give me. Give me flower. Give me flower. Give me a flower. I have no patience for this. I actually do. I'm gonna break everything. You know what? I'm gonna break every single pot I see because this is how art works. Do not question it. Things must be destroyed, right? Right, right. There we go. He told me to destroy everything. I'm gonna destroy. I'm gonna listen to Mr. Frenchman and destroy every single pot I see because that's what he told me to do. I'm helping the artist here. All right. Let's collect everything and then see what our next step is because this is this is epic. Um, I think he told me to trade the pots to that peddler guy, but I don't remember because I was busy talking. Anyway, let's break, 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 break. Let's talk in more breaking. Let's talk in more breaking. Um, I'm assuming he's gonna open up the passage afterwards or possibly teleport me somewhere new. And this is my first level where I have to just complete this. I uh, I really like how they made this um, in very specific, very unique colors that are very distinct, very specific to this particular artist. Um, the second video I'm going to be showing to you is also very different. It's a different artist, different painting. But here you can see this is like the paint. This is the color that he actually used. And um, if you are a teacher of history, art history, and you actually know a little bit more about the artist, you can even explain to your students why he did certain things and what he explored, what he found. All of this information is actually available on the website um, where where the files are. All of the history behind the artist and um, why he uh, came to England, why he decided to to uh, draw in, in a certain way, to paint. I mean, to paint uh, this painting in a certain way. All of this is available, and this so this would be a great lesson. This would be a, a great um, a whole week lesson even where you explore the artist, where you explore his reasons behind the painting and so on and so forth. Should I take milk? I'm gonna take this milk. I'm gonna take it and keep it for myself. And you, sir? Yeah, I have to trade something to you. Do I trade this? Ah! Ah! There we go. Now I can trade those three coins and get yellow chrome. Yeah, there we go! Mission complete. Congratulations! You have found chrome yellow. This is the first color he wanted. I will use the paint to reflections in the water. Trade me the pigment to find out more. Okay. Oh, so now I, I trade the book. Can I get the book? Ha ha! Suivez moi! Follow me! We must get on! Oh, where'd you go? Huh? Where'd you go? Oh, huh? You went here. Okay. Wait, I need... The next pigment I need, Rosemadeir. It is used to make color red. Rosemadeir made the army's uniform smart, but it also used full and fauvinist art. Costly to the purse, it does not come cheap. Let's go to the custom house and see who we meet. If you trade cavalry with gold, you will get the pigment I need. My French accent is slowly deteriorating. 
Uh, okay. What does this book say? Let's read it and find out. I'm going to place it here so I can read. Uh, the major influences of Fauvism included Van Gogh, who used chrome yellow to paint his famous sunflowers. Beware! Chrome yellow pigment is a lead chromate and very poisonous. Ooh! This is some information I did not even know. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to go when you are. Oh, okay. I think he wants me to find something else here. All right. Welcome to Custom House. Ah, interesting. Look at this. Look at, look at the beauty here. There's a ship in there and essentially you explore the entire painting, which is pretty awesome. Uh, collect trading permits from the captain. Oh, captain. Oh, where are you, captain? Let me hit you with a stick. Let me hit you with a stick. Please let me hit you with a stick. Custom house. Okay. Door closed. Custom house. Excuse me. How do I... Help me look around and see if we can find one. Uh, uh, huh? How do I? How do I? How do I? Oh, 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 scary. Scary, 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 scary. What was that? Excuse me. Excuse me. I, I need, I need, I need, I need something from you. I need something from you, please. Oh, look, check out the boat. Look at that boat. There's a boat. I think maybe there's an entrance here that I can open. What? That is that thing in in, in the in London that is what? The guy has a sword. Uh whatchamacallit? That castle thing. I don't know what it's called. You know what I mean. There, there's a bridge of London right there. Can you see the bridge? I can kind of see the outline of the bridge. Unfortunately we cannot go there because there's blocks of unpassage. Alright, so let's try to get in here. I don't know how yet. I do not know how I am not sure how. Knock knock. Knock knock. Knock knock. Didn't, don't open. The door did not open. Maybe I can sneak in. Oh! Uh, nothing. Just the window. I thought I was gonna break the window and go in the fun way. Is there like a secret entrance somewhere? Uh, mister, mister, mister. What am I missing? Collect what? Trading permits. Oh! Oh no, help me! I'm drawing inside the painting. Uh, almost, almost drowned in there. Ow. This painting will, will be my death. Uh, okay, I'm lost again. Okay, I like the puzzle at the moment though. It's actually kind of fun. Uh, oh, except for this part. This part is a little bit not as much fun. Oh, okay, teleports me back here. That's cool. That's very cool. Now, can you open this for me? Game? Game? Game, seriously. Game? Game? Uh, I need some stamps. Give me stamps. Give me, give me stamps. Give me stamps. I have a feeling I just have to jump somewhere. There's gotta be a hole in there somewhere. Is that a secret entrance? It is not a secret entrance. Is there a secret entrance here? That is not a secret entrance. Why do you have a sword? Can I get a sword? Can I can I can I actually walk through here? And the answer to this is no. I cannot. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I think that's what I had to do. I had to get on the ship and then collect something from the captain. I think that's what it told me to do. Oh, there's more boats. Cool. Oh, there we go. Captain Quarters. I need to collect train permit. There we go. Hey. 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 Hello. 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 Oh, there we go. You have found the permit. Well done. There's a cool map in here. Uh, now what? Now you can go to Custom House and trade until you get Rose Matter. Swap different things with the traders until you can buy the pigment. This is even uh, a crafting table here. And a bed. I can't really sleep though. Okay, so let's go do that thing that he told me to do. And... What is this? Where does this go? Cool! There's more stuff. There's more stuff in here. More squares and cubes and stuff. Alright, uh, I think I'm gonna get lost if I go in here. So I'm just gonna go and trade the stamps 
uh, sorry, the permits to get the thing that he wants. I think if I jump into water, it just teleports me back into... Oh, maybe not. There we go. Yeah, it teleports me back here. All right. Uh, okay. So, 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 so. What, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want from me? Trader. If I give him gold, he give me a rose. Matter. Gold? I don't have gold. I don't have gold. Oh, I see. I think I see what I need to do. Yeah, that makes sense. I have to trade each of these things individually until I get to the last component. So I think this is probably the first guy. And it's not the first guy. Okay. Are you the first guy? Wool. I don't have wool. Uh, excuse me. Can you trade something with me? I don't have nothing. I have this. No, that's not working. Bone. Oh, ivory. Okay. Well, I don't have anything for you. I have milk. You want milk? No, you want gold. Okay, so uh, I think I need to find another item that I can trade with these guys. Marble. I don't have marble. I'm out of marbles, man. Nice mustache. Wool. No. Iron coin. Okay, let's go look for stuff. 